Hello, okay, back with our next 100 rep uh, kettlebell dumbbell workout, strength and conditioning, total body. Uh, this is just progressing on the previous one where we kind of did all bilateral. This one has a little bit of bilateral in, but it's mainly unilateral now just to make it a little bit more challenging. So, you know, you've got your breathing, your rest points, your rack position, all these things come into play. So we should be ready for this. So the first exercise, reps, 10 of each. We're gonna do the dead curl. 10 of those. Yeah, deadlift curl. So I've wrote a few of these, so I'll just double check in. Right, let's do it then. Exhales, rest points, tempos. So biceps facing each, uh, biceps, palms facing each other, just to pick this one up so we get a nice bicep curl, a little bit more kind of creature. Creature curl, more girth of the bicep. So we've got our parallel back, weight at the heels. I've got my arms connected, my tricep, uh, my forearms connected to my legs, and as I come up, I'm just looking for that rack position. Squeeze your biceps. Upper and lower body exercise, great one to get started. A little bit conditioning, uh, strength and conditioning. Well, it's all strength and conditioning, but uh, this one just gets the blood pumping at the start, and then we've got like the finisher at the end, the deadlift high pull burpee. Right, let's do it. One. <laughs> Two. Reset, five. Dynamic bicep curl, upper and lower body together. Strength and conditioning. Eight. Reset, nine. And ten. Now I'm just going to pick this up and I'm going to get it in the rack position, weaker side, my left side, I'm going to look at my 10 presses. So I'm just going to use the uh, four count for these, nice and steady. Stand up strong. Three and four throughout. Number four, number five coming up. As we know, we can pick the tempo up a little bit, but we're going to stay consistent through this one because this is our first kind of unilateral, uh, non-stop, as if no rest point. <laughs> so it should be a little bit more challenging, challenging enough about picking that tempo up. <laughs> Two more. Nine. <laughs> and. <laughs> just switch over. Ten on the right. One. Two, three, and four. So I'm using a 12 today. But again, these are extras. These aren't my main workout. Just filming these for you guys. Four. Keeping that weight off. Rest point. Push the chest out. Drive through the heels. Seven. Or should I say 28, 9, this is rep 30, brilliant, catch your breath there, swap it over and I'm going to do 10 thrusters, that is our next one, squat to press, doubling up the shoulders, sit back, we want nice strong looking shoulders, same principles instead of just a press, it's to sit back. Four count. And five. Trying to instruct, uh, keep me techniques, keep me breathing, and count all at the same time. So you may find that you're doing extra rep. This is the difference between reps and time. Also, I've got two more, I believe. Nine. If it's an extra one, it's on the weaker side anyway. Rest point there. In that rack position, overloading the left, because I'm going to work the right now. Flip it over. But as I say, this is the difference between working for time and reps. 
if you're following me in my tempo, you'll be hitting the same amount. That's like two, 42, in fact, in total. Three. Keeping that tempo, get through it. Strength and conditioning, producing that overload. Bit of mental resilience as well, mental strength. Seven, sit back, drive, eight. Nine, one more, and we're going into our rows. So that's your 50 reps. Yeah, just going to double check that, that is correct. So now I'm going to bring it down, I'm going to hinge. One arm rows for 10 reps. Plank alignment, one, two, now so coming straight up, remember that slight angle. One, two, three. 54, not 55, slight angle, and again, you can always kick that one out a little bit, as long as that back alignment is good, 9, plank alignment, anti-rotational, 10, now I'm going to switch over, so from this angle, I can always kick that out slightly, here's the parallel back, anti-rotational, single arm rows, not too quick on the tempo, 4, Five, two more, now we're not putting this weight down, we're going to keep hold of it, I'm going to hinge up, we're going to get it back up into the left side, and we're going to do reverse lunge to press, so we're on 70 reps now, opposite leg, right leg, right arm out for the lunge, a bit more stability balance, one, two, three, and then four, stick with these tempos, you should be feeling this overload. <laughs> Different variation, keep the body guessing, keep progressing. Three. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. <laughs> Seventy-five. We're going to swap over, nearly there guys, stay with it. And two. 83. One, two, three, and four. Eighty-six. Nearly there, big finish, seven. Consistency is what we're looking for, tidy reps. Eighty-nine. And ninety. And then this is where we put it down again to finish, and this is our deadlift high pull burpee. From the heels, parallel back. One, two, three, four, straighten the next right out. Reset, sit nice and close, looking for extension through the heels, push the chest out. 93. 95. So we finish up that burpee, this is 96. Seven, to make sure you're standing up strong when you do this high pull, good alignment, good standing posture. Two to go. One more, finish on that burpee sprawl. Every rep the same, nice and consistent, nice and focused, good tempos. There you have it, great job, well done. So that is the first or the next 100 rep uh, continuous workout. So that's the first one that's introduced in the unilateral. So you should feel uh, that progression there, but you should be ready for it. So great job. Catch you later.